Welcome back. The city of Albuquerque's Office of Black Community works to inspire people to become leaders and entrepreneurs. Now they have a new engagement li liaison, Nima Pickett. Today she's joining us to introduce herself to the community and give a little background on some of the work she's been doing. Nima, good morning, welcome. Good morning. We match, so happy that you're here <laughs> this morning and welcome to Albuquerque, you're new to the city. Tell us a little bit about some of the upcoming events that you're really excited about and, and kind of inspired by. There's a lot going on. Yes, absolutely. So I really love the part of my work, which is community engagement. Mm -hmm. And young people is always at the forefront of our agenda. So um, working through uh, the APS School District and um, through the city in a partnership, we're introducing the 90 days of nonviolence. So we'll have a pledge. So basically students can say, we're going to you know, make efforts to mm -hmm. come to resolution without violence. And I think that's really important. Um, there's something old school we're bringing back, dance, 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 it's a team <gasps> thing. So oh my gosh, <laughs> triple kind of D-I double right, T. I know, I know. <laughs> so that's another way to just kind of create activities so that our youth can come together and um, just enjoy each other and sharing of that kind of space and time. Um, and so another piece that we work through at the office is uh, education mm -hmm. and increasing the graduation dates and then opportunities for college um, and the trades as well for black youth is really super important. And so we're segueing this year's Juneteenth with a very special um, push to help with entrepreneurship as well. And so we're including a Black Business Summit during that time and we'll have that kick off for June 15th right on Civic Plaza. And that's something that's near and dear to your heart because Absolutely. you yourself are an mm -hmm. entrepreneur. So tell us a little sure. bit about that path that you took. Oh boy, so I say ever since I was a little girl, I always had my hands in people's hair and had a really great mentor. She was, um, her name was Sister Nzinga, but coming up, she would braid people's hair and she was a leather worker as well. And she taught me that craft. And uh, coming to a place like New Mexico, I saw that there's a gap where big, curly, crazy, wild hair, you know, uh, didn't really have spaces to be able to say I can go and, um, and be taken care of. So I opened my business when I was uh, 19 and, you know, served the community and found that to be really important as a resource. And now you're in a leadership role. So how did mm -hmm. things kind of transition from, you know, owning your own business mm -hmm. to being in a leadership role with the city? Yeah. So um, I think the transition was really natural. My flow went into doing international business and studied abroad in China, came back and wanted to support local business owners to be able to have more access to capital um, and training. And that segue led me to say, you know, I think that I could step up my engagement and be able to serve communities of color that are disenfranchised and teach how it is that you can increase your wealth and your earning potential to move you into better spaces in your life. And so that's kind of how I thought about um, coming on board with the office and how I could engage in a greater capacity. Where can we go, Nima, for more information on the department and the upcoming events? Absolutely. So just go to our city website, cabq.gov, um, click on the Office of African American Engagement, and then you'll have a whole rollout of our events. Perfect. You can sign up for a serve list, too. Thank you so much for being Thank here you. this morning.